Yeah, legends, and welcome back to the episode of That Slot Car Bulletin for a Tuesday. As always, we have got plenty to get through. Some new go-karts from Nono Slot, hand-built in Italy, and much, much more. But before we get stuck into today's bulletin, a massive thank you to you at home for tuning in regularly, and of course, the official new sponsor, Pendle Slot. But I think it's time for your Slot Car Tuesday Bulletin. So let's kick off the Tuesday bulletin with what's new at Pendle Slot, starting with Scale Electric. And no, we're not talking 2024 cars. We are talking cars available right now. The first one is the Fab One that is ready to go. Check it out. It's massive. I think they put it beside the Batmobile in one of the picks. This thing is huge. Next, we've got the two times Ford Pumas. Big fan of these four-wheel drive rally cars available at Pendle Slot. And last but not least, the McLaren 720. S. So there we have three new cars from Scalatric available from Pendle Slot. And next up, Revo Slot with three pre-orders from Pendle Slot. The Triple Threat, the 510 in three different livery configurations. Massive fan of this, so I bang on about this car all the time and it's almost here in 2024. Have you got your pre-orders in? If not, check out Pendle. I think I better get mining because I think these are going to sell up very, very quick. And checking out Scala Trick, they're showing off an Aussie muscle legend, the Holden VL Commodore, huge car in Australia. It's seen Bathurst many, many times. They have some available. So if you do want to support an Aussie icon, here is your chance through Scala Trick. Let's visit Scale Auto, another pro track out there in the wild. I've lost count on how many. I think we're up to about eight pro tracks now. This one is at Club D Scale Electric. These things are massive. I can't wait to build ours, but that is another Scale Auto uh, monster pro track out there in the wild. And next up, we've got some amazing news from Slot. It's not a new car. It's not a new product. It's a new distributor. I'm going to probably say this wrong, iStec in Japan, awesome for the hobby. Um, when I think of Japan, I think of Tamiya, I think of RC, I don't really think of slot cars. Yes, they are there, but having a slotted uh, distributor in Japan, which have made a promise on one of their posts that they're gonna try and push as much slotted as they can to the community, I think that's awesome. It can only mean good things for the hobby. So congratulations to Slot It for securing a distributor in Japan. And let's visit Polycar. Now have announced also a massive track that's been installed in Spain. Here is the video whilst I'm talking. It is a monster and the Europeans don't do things in half. So it's good to see. We've got some other track out there. This is a monster of a Polycar track. Um, I haven't had my hands yet on one properly. I got to play with one when I was in LA, but it's really good to see that there's a massive polycar track in pretty much the mecca of the slot car world in Spain. So congrats to polycar as well. And next we have NSR about to release their 2024 catalog. They have sent them out to distributors. I've asked for one so I can do a video on it. Um, exciting stuff. This is the busy season at the moment for all slot car releases. And I'm excited to see the 2024 catalog. So once I get it and once I'm allowed to show it, we'll jump straight into it and have a look at it. So keep your eyes peeled for the 2024 NSR catalog, which is released very, very soon. And Next, we have Nono Slot, and I did mention this in the intro. They're showing off their hand built go karts. Massive go kart fan. I love the Ninkos. Scala Trick did one as well. Big fan of the go karts, and here we have some hand built ones from. Italy. Um, you will see Nono Slot from time to time on the channel because they are making some interesting items for 2024. So check out the link. I think it's nonoslot.com. IT, and if you do want to order them, they're not too badly priced, so let me know what you think. Next up, we've got Bauer showing off their race kits. I think it's red, white, and blue. I do like these. We'll try and get my hands on them for review. I'm a big fan of uh, HR Racing, as you know, and I think these will be quite fun. I did get a question about a UK distributor during the week. If you do want anything from Bauer, check out the Before Slot website, and you can order through there. They will post worldwide, but I will try and get my hands on these to do a review for the channel. I think they look pretty cool. Next up, Area 71 with a bit of a unique item. It's not a slot car, it's a trailer 132 scale. I think this is cool. I love to see a trailer race. Um, I don't know what car you would put on the back, but I do like these odds and ends. You don't have to always have uh, just slot car stuff coming out. Um, it would be good to get one of these to see what the quality is like. All their prints have been incredible, but I like to see the size of this and, and how the car's positioned. But yeah, if you want a trailer, 
check out the Area 71. Next up, we have Fly Slot showing off the GOM by Slot Wings. It is the Alpha GTV6 in three livery choices. Rothmans, we've got the Rally San Remo Dirt Effect, and we've also got the Marlboro livery. Massive fan of this car. Hot Wheels just released it uh, 2023, 2024, and of course, now we have it in slot car form. Big fan of this. Uh, I want to try and get my hands on one. I hope they do a white kit because there's a couple of ideas a lot to throw on it. This car in real life in Australia is worth some money. But what's your thoughts? Are you happy to see another Alpha from uh, Fly Slot uh, slash <laughs> Slot Wings? I definitely am. Some more HO news. We've got AFX showing off a sneaky peek of their GT350, which is available this month. That's what they're saying. Um, some of their latest releases are looking really good. I think the quality and how realistic they are Big fan. Can't wait to see this thing on track. Uh, I believe I'm going to the Toy Festival here in Melbourne, Australia in March, and I'll hopefully get to meet the legends from AFX. So if that's happening, I will update the channel. Actually, I will try and find out ASAP, but these are looking good. So I should be able to see these in the flesh very, very soon for you. So that's wrap on Tuesday's edition of That Slot Car Bulletin. As always, a massive thank you to at home for tuning in regularly. And of course, the official new sponsor. Check out their socials linked in the description. It's been a massive January for the slot car world. This is when everything starts coming out. We've got toy fairs, we've got catalogs, talking catalogs. We do have NSRs coming out. I'm waiting for a copy of that. And the 2024 Carrera has been put on hold just for a tick. I haven't filmed it yet, waiting for some licensing things to be ticked off. Then I can get into filming and releasing it. But of course, I will update you. If this is the kind of content you like, please consider subscribing. I have got a lot of content coming, whether it's reviews, shed build, it's going to be a busy 2024, but be safe, take care, support your local, bye! Wow.